Tonight, we are also hearing from the parents of Matt Ariza. They released a statement earlier tonight defending their son against the rape allegation. It reads in part, quote, the rule of law is innocent until proven guilty. That is not our experience. There has been war waged on our son. He has been tried and convicted in the media based on information released solely from the alleged victim and her attorney. He has been released from his job and our entire family continues to receive horrific threats of violence and death. We have all been canceled, every member of our family. There are multiple witness reports to deny the claims against him. The legal system is designed to find the facts and make decisions and they should be allowed to do that. More now on a sexual assault survivor who was asked to speak to the Aztecs football team and her talk came just weeks after the alleged incident. Brenda Tracy travels the country speaking to athletes. CBSA's Jenny Day joins us live from our newsroom with her insight into this case. Jenny. Yeah, good evening. Brenda Tracy says there was nothing That's unusual nice. about that booking, and she did not know about the alleged incident at an off-campus party seven weeks earlier. But now tonight, she's saying the school could have done more. SDSU, though, says that they were asked by police to not do their own investigation, but Tracy says they should have. She says it's frightening the school allowed alleged rapists to remain on campus without notifying students. Title IX processes and criminal processes are two separate things, and they're two separate things for a reason. Um, you know, every university has an obligation to prioritize the state, the safety of all of their students. And if you know that a gang rape happened, you should be investigating that. You should be figuring out what was going on. Tracy herself says that she was gang raped by four college football players in Oregon in 1998. Since then, it's been her mission to educate people on how to step up and do the right thing. We should mention she was given permission by the alleged victim to speak about this case. Tracy says that all victims deserve peace and healing. If you would like to see more from Tracy's interview, click on the online version of this story at CBS8.com. Live in the newsroom, Jenny Day, CBS 8.